Copy, one alpha. Vehicles pitching downrange. Plus 30 seconds. Callouts indicate nominal. The Spark Mission playing the Inspiration 4 crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Great deal with the crew in the council. We're into the throttle down, into the throttle bucket. Stay, do you want to throttle down? Throttling down in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. And then the Delta flight. Nine, it's supersonic. Max Stage Q. one, throttle up. We're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Copy, We're one throttled Bravo. back up and one Bravo, the call out from space. That's one of the abort sequences. That is a nominal call. Everything continues to be good. Looks like a smooth ride for the crew. Okay, we heard the call out. And back E is chilling. We're beginning to get the turbo pump ready on the second stage engine for ignition. We're passing through 3G's acceleration. Everything continues to look nominal. Merlin hey, engines are throttling down for G limiting. 4G's, so we're holding it there for the crew. Major event coming up will be main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation. Looking at the second stage engine nozzle and an ignition of the second stage. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Officially, the Inspiration 4 crew are now on their way to space. First stage booster there on the left-hand side of your screen is making its uh, way back down to Earth. The grid fins have popped out to assist with the steering. It will be making a landing attempt on our drone ship. Just read the instructions, uh, which is parked out and uh, holding position in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, so we have a couple of views on Acquisition screen. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Uh, as Kate mentioned, the left-hand side is a view from the top of our first stage looking down. That has already separated from the second stage, and it's making its way back to Earth. The velocity of the first Dragon stage SpaceX trajectory nominal. is being tracked on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. On the right-hand side of your screen is a view of our second stage Merlin vacuum engine. On the opposite end of the, that engine is the second stage and the crew, which sits on top of the second stage. Everything looks to be going Normal, uh, <laughs> normally uh, with them, uh, and you can also track the velocity on the second stage on the bottom right-hand side of your screen. And we also have awesome views of the crew inside of their capsule as well. I'm pretty sure during first stage ascent, I saw Dr. Hey, Cyan Proctor. Nominal. I'm pretty sure I saw Dr. Cyan Proctor give us a two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she enjoyed this ride that she's been waiting for her entire life. Yes. Uh, one notable thing too is we're getting some twilight views. Um, the sun just set in Florida, but we're high enough um, uh, up where uh, the light around the horizon is also reflecting off of very high altitude objects, such as the first and second stages. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Love to hear that call out, trajectory nominal from the guidance engineer. Also notice we're 
really up there now, well past 100 kilometers. Acquisition of signal, New Hampshire. Just before that view switched, we saw some uh, teammate fist bumps going on there inside <laughs> of the cabin. <laughs> yeah, they look like they're having a fun ride there. Um, and their journey isn't over. We've got about seven more minutes until uh, Dragon separates from the second stage. Yes, uh, next milestone for this mission is actually going to be happening on the first stage. Um, it's going to be performing a re-entry burn that's going to be coming up around the T-plus seven minute and um, 30 second mark. Uh, that burn is used to slow down the first stage before it re-enters the denser parts of the atmosphere. Um, a few minutes later, it will execute a landing burn and make an attempt to land on our drone ship that's currently parked in the Atlantic Ocean. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Dragon copies. So Brothers. far, sorry. I'm just going to say, so far, everything looking great for the Inspiration 4 crew. Hearing that everything is proceeding nominally there with the second stage, which is what you see on the right hand side. That it, propulsion is nominal. I was just going to say that MVAC engine uh, we just heard now is looking nominal. About a minute left to go before the first stage performs its uh, first burn. And on your left hand side, looking at the first stage, you may see uh, those white puffs. Um, those are the nitrogen puffs uh, helping to steer and guide uh, the vehicle, basically. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Basically, is the attitude control. Dragon copy. For the vehicle as it makes its way back down to Earth. There's the crew on the right hand side of your screen. I think I see some more <laughs> thumbs up there. <laughs> Dr. Proctor is clearly excited that she's finally in space. Uh, again, this mission will be orbiting Earth for three days, uh, and they will be at an altitude of 575 kilometers, which if I remember correctly, John I, you said that that is the distance from Los Angeles to the Golden Gate Bridge. There you go. <laughs> They're gonna get there a lot faster. Phase two, FTS is saved. Right now. Burns, the first of two burns on the first stage. Uh, again, this first stage has already separated from the second stage. So stage the first stage burn, is uh, making its way back to Earth, trying to land. And the second stage, everything is going well. It is headed into orbit with the crew on board. Actually, there on your screen, uh, you can see a sunrise horizon there uh, with planet Earth uh, just behind the glowing MVAC engine. Stage two is in terminal guidance. All out stage two and terminal guidance. Uh, we're at the altitude. We're working the angular momentum we need to get into the right orbit. And if you're wondering, crew's pulling about three and a half Gs right now, less than they took on the first stage flight. So in about 15 seconds, we are expecting the... Copy Shannon. We are expecting down. the impact to throttle down and to cut off an event called second engine cutoff and then we'll wait for the confirmation of good orbit. At the same time, the first stage uh, will be uh, beginning its landing burn. And here we have the MVAC. We just saw that it um, shut off its engine. Stage one, landing burn start. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. All right, good news there. The nominal orbit insertion, that's amazing news for Inspiration 4 crew.
the Dragon capsule and crew are in a nominal orbit. Uh, in a few minutes here, we'll begin opening that. Oh, uh, excuse me. In a few minutes here, we'll separate from the second stage. And then shortly after that, we'll begin opening that nose cone. Uh, at the same time, we landed our first stage on the drone ship, as which is super exciting. As if the second stage action wasn't exciting enough. Right. <laughs> So there's that MVAC engine, like we mentioned before, it has already shut down uh, in an event known as second engine cutoff. And the crew are now gliding, if you will. Now one thing right now is we're coming up uh, just uh, under 11 minutes in the flight. We're waiting another minute and a half or so before we get into uh, the separation sequence. We're, the second stage is going through a series of events where we make sure that Gases are all pushed out of the system. There aren't any what they call disturbance torques. We want to make sure that the second stage is very stable. It's quiet. It's not moving around. It's not doing anything. So we give it a few minutes to actually just vent everything down, then go into quiet mode. Then Dragon will send the command to separate itself from the Falcon 9. It'll be pushed away. Falcon 9 stays in orbit for a while till it eventually comes back to Earth. And then Dragon moves on its way. Yeah, John, you talked about the, the terminal count earlier um, today, and this is almost similar to that. It's like another check before the next thing, before the next event that happens. The beauty of the countdown. <laughs> okay, we're about 30 seconds away from uh, separation of Dragon from the second stage. The view on the left-hand side of the screen is a view of the unpressurized section of Dragon. So it's the sort of back end, the trunk section of the Dragon. So when we do see separation, we'll see that kind of push away from the second stage and uh, make its way into orbit. Once again, the Inspiration4 has lifted off from pad 39A. Um, they are now in orbit uh, around Earth and where you can see on your screen, Dragon separation confirmed. So that is the Dragon Trunk and Dragon on the left of the Falcon 9 team. We take you great ride to orbit, enjoy your time on orbit, and we look forward to flying again with SpaceX. And copy that, Gers. We really appreciate everyone's help back in um, LCC. That was the voice of SpaceX Chief Engineer, Chief Engineer Bill Gersten Mayer, communicating with Inspiration4 Commander Jared Isaacman. So Dragon has separated away from the second stage. And that's the view that we have on the left-hand side of your screen. A lot of space there. <laughs> uh, and uh, the, the next signal Bermuda and New Hampshire. And then the next event that we uh, are anticipating is the opening. Dragon SpaceX, nominal dehumidifier activation and service section Draco checkouts. We're going to open up that yeah, nose cone. There, we show it to you. We heard the call out, nominal Draco checkouts after separation. And there's that first view that we have over the shoulders of uh, Commander Jared Isaacman and pilot Cyan Proctor. Uh, Dr. Cyan Proctor is on the right-hand side and uh, Jared is on the left-hand side. And this is uh, their dashboard for the next three days. These touch screens provide them all of the telemetry and data and information and, um, about the systems on board Dragon. Uh, that they can interact with while on orbit. Now we can see the zero G <laughs> indicator floating is. around. <laughs> and it looks like it is a little golden retriever. <laughs> oh, like the golden retriever uh, assistance dogs at St. Jude yeah. Children's Hospital. That is apropos. Oh, I love it fifth crew member on board with the Inspiration4 crew. <laughs> so in a few seconds here, we are expecting the nose cone to open up and hopefully we'll be able to see uh, the first views of the Dragon Cupola in space. There we can see that they have just opened up their visors.
And there is a forward hatch uh, inside of Dragon uh, between the cupola and the crew. Uh, so when the nose cone does deploy, um, they won't immediately get to see out the cupola, but once they can get out of their seats, uh, open up that hatch, they'll get some incredible views of space. And on your right-hand screen is Mission Control Hawthorne uh, at SpaceX headquarters here. Once again, the cupola uh, is the observation dome that was installed. It's brand new hardware to this mission. Uh, it is in place of what was the uh, the docking adapter, um, or excuse me, the docking mechanism that allowed Crew Dragon to previously dock with the International Space Station. Uh, due to the fact that the space station is not our destination today, we were able to pull out that docking mechanism and insert the cupola, um, which will basically provide a 360 view of space for our passengers inside uh, Crew Dragon Resilience here, which I cannot wait for our first views of the cupola. You know, everything that we've seen on the ground here, it's just incredible. And, uh, you know, to see it actually in action um, with those 360 views is going to be breathtaking for us. I can't even imagine what uh, what it might be like to, to actually experience it in person. Yeah, this is going to be incredible. Um, and I, I can't wait for them to get the first look out and and hopefully we'll... Space signal, Newfoundland. Hopefully we'll get to see some of their reactions when they first look out that window. Yeah, so if you are just joining us, this is the inspiration for mission, the first all signal, Green Hill. the first all civilian crew into space. Um, the team um, had a nominal ascent out of Pad 39A in Kennedy Space Center, and are currently in orbit around the Earth. Yeah, what an incredible place to be in right now when we can say we have now put four civilians into space, into orbit. Um, it's been an incredible journey for us to get here. Um, you know, we didn't do this alone. There's a lot of history working with our partners, NASA, um, to, to get us to this point. A lot of um, efforts with reusability and reflying vehicles, which we've seen on this mission particularly. Um, we've reflown the booster three times. Dragon, we flew uh, for uh, a second time here. First flew on crew one last year. And now <laughs> Jared, Cyan, Chris, uh, and Haley are out in space. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. Uh, just the, the fact that um, these are normal, regular people, um, non-professional astronauts, uh, and they're now in space. And Acquisition it's, signal, Okanger. Uh, and it's just wonderful to know that the access to space have, has opened up, um, I believe, in the note that Jared relayed back to ground. Uh, he said that the door is wide open and the view is spectacular. Uh, so, um, of course, they can't quite see out through the dome just yet, as we mentioned before. Uh, but um, metaphorically, it, it's, it must be an incredible feeling to be on board uh, Crew Dragon at this moment. I bet everyone's super jealous of Haley and her window seat right uh, now. Right. She could just turn to her yeah. left and see everything. And Chris, everything. Chris, oh, Chris window window seat. Seat. <laughs> Speaking of window seats, uh, we are approaching the uh, coast of Ireland. We're 249 kilometers up, so we're heading from the 200 kilometers uh, where we injected to 575, and then we'll begin circularizing the orbit. But more importantly, we got into contact with the ground station in England, and they confirmed the nose cone is open. Amazing. So another major <laughs> event, the hooks that hold it down have opened up, and then the nose cone deploys itself up on its actuator. So that exposes the cupola, and we're going to see if we might get any kind of uh, view here before we sign off. Yeah, and as you mentioned, uh, we, we aren't going to the International Space Station. We're actually just going out into space, into orbit. Um, so they will be doing a, a couple burns. Uh, another one will be, or the first one will be uh, 45 minutes into flight and then another 90 minutes into flight. And that'll take them to their final orbit of 575 kilometers away from Earth. <laughs> So 
So uh, at this point, it, it sounds like we're actually not going to be able to get uh, views of the nose cone opening and of that cupola. So unfortunately, we won't be able to bring that to you live at the moment. Uh, however, we will be providing uh, that footage once it becomes available. And uh, the four of us are super excited uh, to see what our four Inspiration4 astronauts are going to be seeing over the next three days. Uh, so at this point, Jared, Haley, Chris, and Cyan are now officially in orbit. Over the next 45 minutes, they'll reach their cruising orbit and spend the next three days orbiting planet Earth. We'll be checking in periodically with the crew to see how they're enjoying their first trip to orbit and to check in on those 360 views of space. <laughs> Uh, if you are curious and want to know where Dragon is at orbiting the Earth, keep tabs on the mission with the Follow Dragon tracker on SpaceX.com. And stay on top of any potential live events that we might be able to have with the crew while they're out in orbit uh, by following us on social. And finally for today, the thank yous. Kennedy Space Center, the Eastern Range for the support getting us through the countdown, the FAA for launch approval, and of course, the Inspiration4 crew for their confidence in SpaceX, getting them into space today. And finally, thank you to everyone who has logged in to watch our webcast and donated to the St. Jude Children's Hospital. With that, we wish you a good day.